Well, hello, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate you being here. This is Cheryl. Welcome back to my channel for those of you that have been here before with me. And for those of you that are new, I'm so happy and appreciative that you have chosen to join me today. Well, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so I thought I would do something uh, along the lines of self-care, what we can do for ourselves uh, to take care of ourselves both mentally and physically. So it's not a matter of putting ourselves before others. Sometimes we actually need to do that, but it's how can we better take care of ourselves? And so I just put a few things in my planner just to kind of remind me. So this is my regular monthly digital planner. And so I have a page dedicated to self-care. And you may have seen some of these before in my little self-care diagram that I created. And so some of the things on here, it says to take deep breaths, slow down, take deep breaths, some, a couple other things, drink, drink more water, drink some water if you're not already drinking water. I had to remind my son that he needed to be drinking more water. Also, you need to do some stretches, move. If you have a smart watch, uh, it has a reminder on there to get up every hour and move and stretch. And... And so you don't have to, it doesn't have to be for a long period of time. It could be just for a minute, getting in our daily steps. You know, for some, it may be 10,000. Others, it may be 5,000. Some days, I may be lucky to get in 2,000. But it's just a matter of getting up, moving. And I like to spend a few minutes, at least, I try to do it daily, but at least three or four times a week is organizing and decluttering my space because that can help set the mood and the tone of how you feel for the day too is clutter can make you feel kind of out of sorts. So we have a neat area that we can claim for ourselves that we can sit and do our daily or weekly planning, looking at our schedules. That just helps me um, to clear my mind. Also, writing down things that I am grateful, thankful, blessings. You know, and it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, as I've mentioned before. You know, just being thankful to wake up in the morning, to put one foot in front of the other to be able to enjoy a cup of coffee or a hot tea, to be thankful that, that I have food on the table, gas in my car, that I'm able to do simple things for myself. You know, I worked in healthcare for many years and been in some facilities where people my same age are not able to do for themselves, don't have that physical or mental capacity. So being thankful for that. And I've spoken about this before, is affirmations. It's so, just simple things, just reminding ourselves that we can do it. You know, reminding, you know, that I'm a winner. Those things, you know, you're planting the seeds of confidence in yourself. And so, daily reminder, smile. The saying, you smile. Uh, it's just a frown turned upside down. Drinking water, spreading love, being kind. That is just so important to be kind. We live in such a divisive world right now. Just to smile and say a word of kindness. It can mean so much to someone. And being positive, even when you don't feel like being positive. And just reminding no one is you and that is your, that is your superpower and create something beautiful every day. You know, what is your hobby? What are some things that you like to do that brings you joy in creating space 
and time to do those things. And I found this little saying, love grows here. And this little plant said, and I think that got this from Breezy Organization, these cactus plants. This one, and these are actually two different ones here. And this one, this image here is from Photoshop. And I think I may have the um, image turned off. So let me just double check. No, it's on there, the lasso tool. So that one freely moves. This one, there's two here. You can see there. And I'll get them lined up off camera before I put, put this on YouTube. And so my mood tracker here is how am I feeling. And I can track this uh, daily for a week. And so... You know, how am I feeling? Am I feeling happy? You know, and there want to be, you know, most days of the week that I'm feeling, you know, in a good, positive mood. You know, what are some things that might be causing me to feel agitated or unwell, uh, anxious? And just reminding myself that I've got this. And also a reminder that there's always something to be grateful for. And keeping track of what I'm currently doing. I'm, what am I currently reading? I uh, just downloaded a book by um, John Maxwell. And, you know, some fun things as well. Exploring. We are going on an outing tomorrow to do some um, nature photography. You know, making, uh, making some uh, cards to send to family and friends. Uh, what am I watching? I'm getting ready to... Um, well, I, I did watch this crazy movie earlier, uh, Unfrosted, and it was hilarious. It's on Netflix, so I would encourage you to watch it. It's um, Seinfeld <clears throat> was the producer and the director, and so lots of lots of uh, famous characters in there. So if you have Netflix, I would encourage you to watch it. And so for the most part, yeah, I've been feeling pretty happy in a positive uh, attitude. Uh, positive mindset so as I said create space um, to take care of yourself you know and it doesn't have to be anything elaborate it could just be sitting quietly for a few minutes two or three minutes with your eyes closed and taking deep breaths you know we are all attached to our phones our devices and I know I am I'm very guilty of it and just you know, maybe leave it in another room for an hour or two uh, to disconnect from social media. And, you know, I've gotten into the habit of not being on social media as much as I used to. You know, I may post one or two things in the mornings, go all day, and then maybe in the evenings, you know, just to check to see um, family and friends, what they may have posted and respond to, you know, a few posts from family and friends. I try not to get wrapped up as I did once before in the political side of things because it really does affect your mentality uh, when, you know, there's just so much negativity out there. And on nice days, just to go outside and stand in the sun and see how, how the warmth and the fresh air makes you feel. And you can also just simply light a candle you know, find one that, you know, with a fragrance that you like and just light it up and uh, smell the aroma and watch the flames flicker. And so that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about um, on this session. Again, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Um, and so what one thing are you going to do to take care of yourself what self-care activity are you going to do are you going to take some deep breaths and relax go outside stand in the sun drink more water do some stretches disconnect from social media uh, for an hour or two leave your phone in a different room and not respond to text messages you know, if you're working, that might be hard to do if you're not answering the phone. But what can you do to take care of yourself? And I read this book a long time ago. It says, your best yes is no. 
And sometimes that is the best thing we can do for ourselves is not always saying yes to everything. No can sometimes be a yes and it can sometimes be your best yes. So friends, do take very good care of yourselves. Take care of your mental and physical health. And until next time, ciao for now. Bye-bye.